Today I want to talk about the relationship between potassium and insulin. It's very interesting, especially if you are a diabetic or have insulin resistance. So insulin is a hormone that causes you to store fat. In the presence of insulin, it's almost impossible to burn fat and lose weight because insulin prevents the fat burning. So it's all about storing uh, sugar as fat and it's preventing the oxidation or breakdown of fat. Insulin also stores glucose. So let's say, for example, you ate some sugar or some refined carbs. Now the, the body is going to store that as stored sugar. Insulin turns glucose into glycogen. So this is what glycogen looks like. It's a string of glucose molecules held together as stored sugar. And you also have potassium involved as well. So potassium is necessary in the storage of glycogen. So the main purpose of insulin is to lower your blood sugar. And it does that through taking the sugar and putting into storage as glycogen or as fat. And if you're diabetic and you take medication to lower your blood sugar, the question is, so where's it going? It's being hidden as fat. It's not evaporating. So basically these medications are taking out of the blood um, and putting it somewhere else. Now, insulin also helps put the potassium in your cells. So that's one of the purposes. When you consume a high glucose diet or a high carb diet, you deplete potassium from the inside of the cell. So you lose potassium. So if you consume a lot of carbohydrates at one time, you're going to show potassium deficiency symptoms like your pulse rate will start going up. You'll have a hard time sleeping your blood pressure might go up. You may feel uh, palpitations in your heart or heart arrhythmia type symptoms. Taking potassium makes insulin less resistive as well. So it's really good to improve insulin resistance. And if you're a diabetic, you have insulin resistance. And this is why all diabetics should be making sure they get enough potassium and more to help their blood sugars and improve uh, the uh, normalization of insulin. If you're deficient in potassium, that's going to impair glucose and even increase the risk for insulin resistance just by having a deficiency of potassium. And then you're being put on a medication like a diuretic, which then can deplete potassium and cause more high blood pressure. And also, if you have insulin resistance and you're a diabetic, you take metformin. And one of the problems with metformin, it depletes potassium. So my point about this video is if you're a diabetic, uh, make sure you have enough potassium. And I created a very important video on diabetes a long time ago, and I put it on this page right here. Check it out.